These 90 Day Fiancé transformations show the lengths that some will go to maintain their relevance and appearance for another 15 minutes in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. You're gonna look like a mannequin. Yeah. Tiffany Franco. Tiffany shared how opening herself to public opinion brought support, yet admitted the negative comments stuck with her more than the positive. One that affected her most was her weight. Over time, she decided to make the drastic decision for gastric bypass surgery. Unlike her fame, this would not change overnight. Considered a last resort for weight loss, Tiffany will have to maintain a strict diet for the rest of her life. She admitted, I just drink protein shakes. I try to get 60 to 70 grams of protein a day. To help with her weight loss. Shocking fans with her new transformation, she gained the confidence to post more photos of herself on Instagram, showing off her new figure. Allowing herself to enjoy the spotlight, Tiffany's fans loved seeing the side of her. She started selling her clothes on Poshmark to help pay the bills, as her 90 Day Fiance checks barely scratched the surface. She continued her career as a makeup artist in 2022, along with her cosmetic line Addie Rose. Big Ed. Big Ed is considered a pop culture phenomenon, reaching a whole new level of fame since his debut. Entertained or offended, Big Ed had people talking and or just laughing. Controversial from the start, he planned to wed 23-year-old Rosemary Vega. At 54 years old, this was the start of being Big Ed's topic of conversation. Another topic was probably his mayonnaise hair mask. Multidimensional and creative, success came naturally to Big Ed with a master's degree in architecture which led him to his career as a photographer. Ed's personal transformation helped him to reveal his Klippel seal syndrome, a rare genetic disorder affecting his height. Ed, under five feet, wanted to be an advocate for being different and to embrace what sets you apart. He sold merchandise such as his face on t-shirts meant to stop bullying. Darcy Silva Divorced at 45 years old, Darcy Silva decided to take a break from love and transform herself. Darcy was known for her fashion, her hair, her makeup. Stylish and entertaining, Darcy went through a huge transformation physically during the span of her TLC gig. She tried to become famous on another reality television show such as Millionaire Matchmaker, but nothing came from that. Receiving a rhinoplasty, breast implant, lipo under her arms, inner thighs, and chin with veneers, viewers were concerned she had serious body image issues. Darcy enjoyed fame mostly when her follower count gained her the ability to receive free plastic surgery in exchange for exposure. Mohammed From Tunisia, Mohammed met Danielle in an online chat room. She was 41 and he was 26. The age gap was not the reason for their subsequent divorce, though. Both were accused of scamming as Mohammed was using Danielle for a green card while Danielle lied about her serious debt issues. With her growing level of debt and no chemistry between them, their time together was doomed. He moved from Miami to Chicago, to Austin, and then to Annapolis. Settling on a divorce allowed Mohammed to stay in America and start his career as a truck driver, and today has started his career as a day trader. Danielle Oh, Danielle, her neediness and odd behavior had Mohammed run away quicker than she could say, don't leave me. But she has come full circle since then, focusing on herself. Danielle decided to put more effort into her debut sporting a new look with more patterns and colors. She unexpectedly became an Instagram influencer, advertising weight loss sponsorships and showing off her new slim figure. She also put more effort into her makeup, saying she never felt as good and as confident as she does now. We hope that her journey to love will happen the way it was meant to the exact opposite with Mohammed. Sharing her impressive grades on Instagram, Danielle went back to school in 2021 and received her diploma as a licensed practical nurse. And Fisa. Born in Moscow, Anfisa was a controversial cast member, to put it lightly. The show gave her major exposure, but due to all her anger issues, she did not win the Miss Congeniality Award. Only amounting to a gold digger was the main criticism she received. But Anfisa proved her critics wrong by graduating with the associate's degree in business, is a certified fitness trainer, and won first place in her first bodybuilding contest, feeding experienced competitors. Her weight loss transformation resulted from her new career in the fitness world. Anfisa also confessed to Botox, lip fillers, along with breast implants. Thanks, George. Perhaps the show and exposure of her abusive ways actually gave her the ability to gain some insight on her bratty behavior. Her net worth today is growing, estimated to be over $1 million. And asked if she would join another season, she replied, if I got paid enough, sure, but that won't happen. Jorge, her ex-husband, had a transformation of his own. He went to jail and lost over 128 pounds. Jimena Morales 
Born in Colombia, 24-year-old Jimena was a webcam model to help provide for her two children. When Jimena and Mike began their online relationship, Mike sent Jimena approximately $15,000 to help cover rent, food, along with appliances and furniture to decorate her new apartment back in Colombia. Mike took it upon himself to pay for her expenses so she never had to resort to cam modeling again. After Mike discovered Jimena did not love him, he asked how she would support herself without him. I can work as a model that will pay for my rent and food. Jimena wanted him to pay for her breast implants and liposuction to help fill out her perfect wedding dress. Unbeknownst to Mike, these enhancements were were actually meant to catapult her comeback as a webcam model. She recently confirmed her tummy tuck and breast implants, showing off her new figure on social media. Larissa Santos Lima Born and raised in Brazil, after ending it with cold, she changed her hair, got Botox, lip injections, and finally got to pay for her revenge body, spending $72,000. She opened up about undergoing hormone therapy, weight loss programs, and using strict pre-made meal plans to maintain her slim figure. Colt's regards to Larissa's transformation said, I can't keep track. I feel like every week there's a new surgery with her on something or another. Larissa admitted she wanted and dreamed of looking like a blow-up doll. Whether this is her sense of humor or not, that is exactly how she looks. When I look up blow-up dolls like big chest, small waist, big lips, I start to feel pretty. The nose is the worst thing I need to change to be a perfect doll. Transparent in her intention for beauty, fame, and money, she has gained an estimated net worth of $500,000, including her primary source of income, as a television personality. Claiming to be her preference with leading a more modest lifestyle, the irony is not lost on us. Stephanie Maddo to keep viewers captivated, Stephanie Maddow's motto was, All attention is good attention. Stephanie admits to being attention-seeking, narcissistic, and fame-driven. This may be surprising to some who never heard of her before 90 Day Fiancé, considering she was guarded, introverted, and very sensitive on the show. Starting as a YouTuber, she used outrageous titles for scandalous story times resulting in viral videos. Quickly learning, this made fast money and a quick fix for attention. To make money one of these ways was her OnlyFans, but her approach which was more ridiculous than anything she did before. Making up to $1,000 a piece, she sold her gas in a jar with a rose petal, if desired, of course, making over $1.2 million on her self-made business. Yara Zaya Yara's iconic facial expressions and frankness made her beloved amongst fans, but photos of her face before the show exposed her rhinoplasty, lip filler, and other procedures. Her hidden physical transformation before the show opened her up to accusations of living a double life. She responded with humor regarding her potato nose, candidly admitting, there's nothing wrong with plastic surgery. Four years ago, I was doing my lips too. Due to the hush-hush world of plastic surgery and celebrities, her upfront response gained back the respect with even more fans than before. Netflix's Bling Empire is back and dripping with more drama and wealth excess than ever before. Take a look into this list of your fave Bling cast members and how they started from the bottom to get here. And by bottom, we mean only a couple million bucks in the bank. I'm just like, oh my god, this is real. Christine Chu, Almost Housewife the unbelievably wealthy Christine Chu was so wealthy that another rich-based reality show wanted her first, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Wow. Sadly, that reality show dream didn't pan out, but she could lean on her Ivy League pedigree graduating business from Pepperdine University. She then went on to open a plastic surgery clinic in Beverly Hills with her husband, Dr. Gabriel Chu. And while Christine isn't on the Housewives franchise, she definitely has Housewives mentality, calling couture clothing items previously seen on celebrities secondhand. And I'm happy to say I'm not one of those people. And the plastic surgery for Christine isn't just a business venture. Many fans have noticed her nose has gotten a bit thinner and her lips a lot fuller. Based on her current appearance versus her past Girl Next Door looks, it's safe to say she would have fit in with The Real Housewives no problem. Never let your opponent see you sweat. Kelly Mealy, former life married by scandal. Kelly Mealy may be the true reason why Bling Empire even exists, considering she introduced Kevin Creter to the Bling Ring and the rest is TV history. But before she connected the people we know and enjoy, Kelly came from a humbling upbringing, being raised by a single mother who worked at the University of Illinois. As an adult, she met her first husband, Lin Miao, and lived the rock star lifestyle with fast cars, black MXs, and then the eventual truth coming to surface of him committing cyber fraud and being arrested in 2014. I didn't even know who I was sleeping next to. Kelly immediately divorced Lin and started her own path to making money beginning in real estate, food and drink industry, and eventually life insurance. 
She then took a hard left and worked in the film industry where she experienced mild success as a producer of the 2020 film Echo Boomers. In terms of appearance, many fans have speculated that she's gotten work done, but to the key eye, people are assuming that being on TV aspect of her career has caused to switch up her makeup routine. Kim Lee, former MTV star. Kim Lee may currently be the drama du jour on Bling Empire with her high drama antics and drink throwing proclivities. Who raised you, wolves? However, before Kim Lee was considered a Kylie Jenner lookalike, she was the host of MTV's Yo! MTV Raps. And while Kim Lee was busy building her multi-millionaire fortune, which ironically is pittance compared to her Bling Empire co-stars, by starring in rap videos of Nicki Minaj and Kanye West, Kim Lee has also claimed she is a self-made millionaire, but in this day and age, self-made means a little less working hard and a little more selfie taking. And in case you were wondering that Kim has been looking a little different these days in the selfie department, it has been stated that she has used Botox and lip fillers, like every self-made millionaire should. Hello Kylie. Kevin Kreider, our middleman touchstone. Before hanging in the world of the uber wealthy, Kevin came from a middle class background in Pennsylvania. A personal trainer and just a regular human person. Kevin unfortunately racked up over $26,000 in credit card debt. However, LA was calling after Kelly Lee caught his YouTube channel promoting Asian masculinity and health. And next thing you know, Kevin is in with the innest crowd there ever has been. Kane Lim, born this way. Unlike Kevin and Kim on this list, who have worked their way to fortune, Kane Lim was born into wealth. He owns the shopping malls that you go into. But before you start thinking Kane had it easy, according to Kane, his dad withheld certain luxuries. However, at the age of 17, Kane had enough of the indignities and started investing money given to him by his dad and finally made his own money. Along with the investments, Kane had a successful Instagram account, and the rest is bling empire shoe-obsessed history. No stranger to going under the knife, Kane showcased the work he had done in season two, bandages and all. That's why I look like I'm 15 sometimes. It has also been speculated that he's used fillers, and with cheekbones that high, I don't see why not. Anna Shea, the wealthiest but at what cost? Anna is by far the richest cast member on Bling Empire, and the story of how she came to be this way is marred by global tragedy. You have to live for you. The daughter of Edward Shea, the founder of Pacific Architects and Engineers. Her mother was a model of Japanese and Russian heritage, and Anna always knew a life of wealth, to the point where her mother told her she was born with a silver spoon and crystal ball. The Bling Empire star with the most apparent facial shifts over the seasons, Anna will never confirm if work has been done. But in the years since the first season, Anna went from brunette to redhead, thin to full lips, and from an expert eye, a facelift. Cherie Chan, denim heiress turned pop star. Cherie Chan may be an introverted cast member at heart, but her net worth of $200 million sure comes off loudly on Netflix's Bling Empire. The heiress to a denim fortune, she had hopes and dreams of becoming a J-pop star. But my mom, she wanted me to be a doctor or a lawyer. She didn't want me to pursue music. She didn't want any of that. But never say never because Cherie promises that once her kids, Jador and Javon, are a little old, Hopefully, music will be back in her sights. By the way, before you go judging Cherie and if she's changed in terms of her looks, from this keen eye, it's pretty obvious she's put down the knife and picked up the editing software. Andrew Gray, model behavior? Andrew has a classic story of how one makes it in LA. Andrew was most known for portraying the Red Power Ranger in the cinematic masterpiece that is the Power Force mega series. Through his Instagram, modeling, and acting work, Andrew was able to acquire a nice net worth of around $2 million. Unfortunately, that kind of money is sneaker cleaning budget to some of the cast of Bling Empire. Andrew joined the show because he had been a long-term partner to Kelly. What they say about land lovers is not a lie. Jamie Z, Silicon Valley Princess. Before Jamie made her quiet but notable mark on Netflix's Bling Empire, Jamie was lucky enough to be born into a software dynasty. Jamie Z's father founded the cybersecurity software Fortinet and NetScreen, a system to enable firewalls. But besides her tech pedigree, she was the ultimate horse girl. Her passion for horses took her to competing with them and becoming the top equestrian in the United States Equestrian Federation, USEF. However, those horse days are gallops behind her as she has settled into being a fashion influencer and just killing it on Instagram. And then, Destiny came calling for Jamie in the form of unboxing fashion on YouTube. Through her fashion and YouTube success, Jamie has amassed a fortune of $50 million. 
Dorothy Wang, reality show veteran. The Beverly Hills bred Dorothy is new to Bling Empire this season, but comes from the same out of control wealth the rest of the cast is made up of. Dorothy is an accomplished entrepreneur and the daughter of the CEO of real estate firm Golden Eagle International. Dorothy's so rich that before she was causing drama with Kane Lin in season two. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and let you talk to me this way. I think that Kane is just so annoying. She was all sorts of dramatics on not one but two reality shows. Rich Kids of Beverly Hills, and later, Famously Single. And while she's already worth millions of her own, it's fun to point out that her dad is worth $3.5 billion. Me thinks she'll not only fit in this new season, but fully be running Bling Empire by the last episode. As for shifts in Dorothy's looks, she claims no plastic surgery, just really good at contouring. Guy Tang, Tulsa born but ready for the spotlight. Guy Tang was already a successful hairstylist before Bling Empire came knocking, so much so that he was a YouTube star showcasing his popular hairdos on the site. But well before he arrived in LA in 2010, Guy was a pop star in the wings claiming that he has a love for singing and dancing. And while we have yet to see this side to him on the show, his subscribers can catch his songs better together and bridges you burn on YouTube. The cast of Selling Sunset has had quite the transformation since finding fame through reality TV. I mean, exposure doesn't come cheap, you know. Christine Quinn. Christine has always been forthcoming about the transformations she's received since appearing on reality TV. She doesn't have a filter about how much work it takes to get camera ready, and admits to having gotten implants, lip injections, tons of Botox, and tons of makeup done in order to look perfect for Selling Sunset. She doesn't want anyone to think she wakes up looking that flawless. I mean, come on people, it takes effort. And most importantly, money. Her glam is $1,000 a day. Sheesh! It's expensive to look this cheap, she says. During season one, she was buying and returning a lot of her wardrobe because she wasn't doing too well financially. It's not a good sign. <laughs> However, since achieving more success, her look has gotten bolder. I went into the show wanting to be taken seriously. I was a little more conservative. I covered up more. One thing I learned in season two is that fashion doesn't define you. I can be a professional and sell homes, and it doesn't matter what I wear. Born in Dallas, Texas, Christine has actually always been interested in performing arts. She attended Juilliard in New York City, and then moved to Los Angeles, where, according to her IMDb, she starred in Hot Tub Time Machine 2 and an episode of NCIS Los Angeles. In 2019, she married retired tech entrepreneur Christian Richard, and the two welcomed their son Christian Georges de Montent in May 2021. Chriselle Strauss the Kentucky native has had many careers before landing at the Oppenheim Group. She comes from a humble beginning and didn't grow up with a lot of money. As a child, she lived in a trailer park and was even homeless a few times in her life. She got her start as an actress on All My Children, where she made her debut in 2005. She later joined Days of Our Lives in 2013 and The Young and the Restless in 2016. One of her most notable headlines prior to Selling Sunset was her marriage to Justin Hartley. The pair tied the knot in October 2017, but he filed for divorce in November 2019, with the split becoming a storyline on the show. They finalized their divorce in February 2021. Since appearing on TV, she's had a bit of a physical transformation. She traded her eyebrows in for thinner ones and lightened her hair. At the 2021 PCAs, she swapped the blonde locks for brown and debuted her new sultry, darker look. In July 2021, she went public with the fact that she's dating Jason Oppenheim, who she describes as her best friend, and they seem to have great chemistry. Mary Fitzgerald Long before Selling Sunset began, Mary Fitzgerald was in the real estate business. She lived in London and New York for years, where she gained experience as a realtor. She then relocated to LA and rose through the ranks of the Oppenheim Group. But it worked somehow. She didn't always have her signature blonde bob, though. Did you know she used to have long, dark hair? I didn't think about that. On top of that, she used to have much thinner 2000-styled eyebrows, which she's since swapped out for thicker ones that are more on trend for today's day and age. She's also been married twice before her marriage to Romaine at the end of season two. Mary has always been upfront about her past relationship history. I've been married twice before, my first husband passed away, and my second husband, it just didn't work out. It wasn't the right relationship, she said during season one. Jason Oppenheim. The family definitely knows a thing or two about real estate. The brokerage represents five generations of real estate development, management, and brokerage services in LA. Jason is pretty successful. 
In 2019, he was recognized by the Wall Street Journal Real Trends, Best Real Estate Agents in America, as the number one agent in the Hollywood Hills and Sunset Strip, number three agent in Los Angeles, and the number 22 agent in the United States. His career success even led him to finding love, as he met Chrishell through working together at the firm. Brett Oppenheim Jason's brother Brett is the vice president of the Oppenheim Group and directly manages the team of real estate agents that appear on the show. He's also worked as an attorney and a public speaker, and along with his brother has previously appeared on Million Dollar Listing. Brett is currently dating leggy model Tina Louise, and he may even want to settle down with her. Amanda Smith Amanza had a long history with Jason, Brett, and Mary way before becoming a member of the Selling Sunset cast. They've all been pretty close friends for years now. One of the show's most puzzling storylines has been Amanza's missing ex-husband, former football player Ralph Brown. They have two kids, a son and a daughter, but it's been years since they've actually seen him. The sudden disappearance has left her children devastated. It's been a mystery to everyone that knows Ralph, even his closest friends. So it's definitely an unusual and upsetting situation. I love you. Love you too. And I'll always be by your side. We definitely sympathize with her and hope he decides to be part of his children's lives again. Amanza is a former Indianapolis Colts cheerleader and deal or no deal briefcase model, and also dated actor Tay Diggs for four years, from 2014 to 2018. Before becoming a real estate agent, she founded her own interior design company. Heather Ray Young. Heather Ray Young was a successful model before finally deciding to venture into real estate. When looking at her older pictures, you definitely see that she's always had that blonde bombshell aesthetic. She started modeling professionally when she was 18. In her early 20s, she became successful enough to be crowned a Playboy Playmate and Miss February 2010. And no, she doesn't regret posing for such a scandalous magazine and thinks that everything happens for a reason. On top of modeling, she's also dabbled in the acting industry. Her credits include small roles in The Internship, Love in the Time for Monsters, and Malibu Horror Story. She's been at the Oppenheim Group ever since joining in 2014. On top of real estate, she's also passionate about animal rights and veganism. Maya Vandor Maya is originally from Israel. She moved to Amsterdam when she was 20 to pursue her modeling career. She keeps her private life very private and mysterious, so mysterious that she hasn't even revealed her husband's name, although people in her Instagram comments call him Dave. Interesting. Together, the pair have two children, a son named Aiden and a daughter named Elle. Maya spoke about her childhood in an interview, saying, I didn't have a very luxurious upbringing in Eilat, but it was a happy one, and I learned how important it was to work hard and not have things handed to you on a plate. Davina Patretz Davina takes real estate very seriously. She's one of the most successful agents on the show. Davina was born in Germany and graduated with her international baccalaureate from the International School of Hamburg. After school, she moved to the U.S. to attend Pepperdine University in Malibu. According to her Oppenheim bio, she contracted the most expensive condominium ever sold in downtown Los Angeles in 2008. She's one of the top 10% of agents in the market. Since she's a member of Top Agent Network, Davina also has a past in modeling. She was signed under the Ford Modeling Agency for over 10 years and has lived in London, Milan, and New York. Emma Hernan. Emma is one of the most recent additions to the Oppenheim Group. She's had quite the professional past. She was raised in a Massachusetts beach town. As a teenager, she worked as a model, babysitter, and invested in the stock market. Now she's a real estate agent and is the CEO of her own plant-based empanada company, Emma Lee & Company. And the company couldn't be going any better. Which is cool, but like a little random to us. Either way, we're going to say that she's a girl boss. A food empire, a real estate empire, an Emma empire. She's had a rough past with Christine Quinn because they share an ex. And it's definitely the most dramatic storyline of season four. Vanessa Valela. Vanessa had a pretty dramatic past before becoming a real estate agent. She was a soap opera star. She first rose to fame back in Mexico when she appeared in El Cuerpo del Doceo, El Señor del Cielo, and even a Netflix show. Back then, Vanessa looked like a completely different person, as she had predominantly blonde hair and tan skin. Now, the realtor has mainly dark hair, which makes her green eyes stand out even more. Romaine Bonnet. Before Roman met Mary, he had quite the past. 
he was born in Paris, France, but moved to Britannia when he was 14. His first major job before meeting Mary and starring on Selling Sunset was modeling while he lived in Australia. He signed to internationally known agencies like Wilhelmina. Romain is also a trained pastry chef, which is how he and Mary met. He cooks for Mary when they have days off. However, their schedules are pretty busy, so they usually just order takeout. What did you think of the transformations? Who's shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe to The Thing's Reality to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest in reality TV. From weight loss to Botox, babies, and even new teeth, these Married at First Sight stars' lives have changed drastically from their days on the show. Elizabeth Sobanoff First up is Married at First Sight Aussie Lizzie Sobanoff, who went on the show not once, but twice. She was hardly recognizable when she returned the second time around. She debuted a new toned figure, she ditched the platinum blonde locks to become a brunette, and changed up her wardrobe. Her new look had fans going, who's that? Elizabeth Sobanoff revealed she was on disability pension before finding fame and battles with the chronic illness lupus. Nowadays, Lizzie is a social media influencer and often advertises beauty products to her Instagram followers. Elizabeth started posting pictures of a new boo around Christmas time. His name is Alex. Alexander Vega, and he is a 30-year-old field service engineer from Sydney, Australia. Claire Verall Married at first sight down under, cast member Claire Verall didn't find love on the show, and a lot has changed since we saw her as Jono Pittman's blonde bride on the second season. According to Body and Soul, after leaving the popular reality series, Claire started dieting and focusing on her mental health, leading her to lose over 100 pounds. The reality star shocked fans with her new slim physique and look, captioning her Instagram photo, new hair who this? Hashtag brunette. She posted about undergoing a physical transformation, including getting liposuction around her inner and outer thighs, hips, stomach, waist, and knees. These days, she's back to rocking the blonde hair again and thriving. Joe McFarlane Joe McFarlane had the most dramatic weight loss transformation in Married at First Sight history. Joe had a full body transformation. She flaunted her incredible weight loss transformation in a glitzy gown ahead of the All Stars special. She says she shed over 40 pounds since appearing on her season. She credits her weight loss success to a ketogenic diet and has maintained a strict exercise regimen. I have tried the keto diet. Um, which has actually uh, worked for me very well. By the looks of her social media, Foxy Jojo doesn't seem to be dating anyone as of late. Now, she spends her time taking care of her two children and modeling off her new bod. Ashley Petta and Anthony D'Amico Married at first sight US season 5 fan favorites, Ashley and Anthony didn't undergo dramatic physical transformations, but their lives have changed drastically since their season debuted in 2017. A year after the show, the happily married pair shared the story of Ashley's emotional labor with their daughter Mila Rose. At 37 weeks pregnant, Ashley was warned that her little girl's growth had slowed significantly, putting her pregnancy and her baby's health at risk. Ultimately though, all went well after Ashley was induced. The couple said they hoped to have another baby in the future and they did. In July 2020, Ashley announced that she and Anthony were preparing to welcome their second child. Daughter Veda Marie was born on February 3, 2021. Jessica Power Jess has undergone one of the most dramatic transformations, undergoing procedures including cheek Botox, jaw slimming, and a fat transfer to her breasts. The star admitted she spent more than $60,000 on procedures over 18 months at one point. However, Jess wasn't always about Botox and filler. The season 6 bride shared some rare throwback snaps of herself before she'd had any of her surgical or cosmetic procedures. After Married at First Sight, Jessica continued her reality TV career and joined the cast of Big Brother. VIP. She also took the chance to try her luck on a new series called Celebs Go Dating. She's also reportedly in talks to star in the UK version of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Jessica gave fans a sneak peek at her monthly spending and even revealed the amount of money she made on OnlyFans. The reality star shared screenshots of her bank account showing her biggest spending of $106,907.52 in the month of November alone. Jessica dated a man named Philip Poznanovic for a couple months in 2021. These days, she's booed up with Connor Thompson, host of the Erasing the Bar podcast. Sarah Rosa 
Another contestant that shed some pounds after starring on the show is Sarah. The bride showed off her tiny waist and slim figure after undergoing a cosmetic procedure to drop a few pounds in 2021. She shared some dramatic before and after photos from her vaser liposuction procedure. She told the Herald Sun that she had her whole body done from the neck down. Sarah was one of the most popular participants to search for love on the show, but she and Telv broke up in March 2019 and both appeared in court after each taking out an apprehended violence order. Sarah has been rumored to be dating a new man. She has been spotted on multiple dates with Melbourne-based man James Stevens, but he claims they were never a couple. Lauren Huntress After facing cruel online trolling when her season aired, bride Lauren turned the negative into a positive and debuted a toned makeover on Instagram with an amazing side-by-side -side shot. She captioned the photo, instead of dwelling on the negatives and mistakes you've made in the past, learn from them and turn them into something positive. Lauren explained she'd lost the extra weight after embarking on a self-love journey. Nowadays, makeup artist Lauren continues to share styling skills on Instagram. She also underwent a major hair transformation and dyed her blonde locks red. She is also a social media influencer and advertises products to her 70,000 followers on Instagram. Johnny Babuziente Drastic transformations are not just for the ladies of Married at First Sight. Australia Season 8 star Johnny completed a grueling 30-day fitness challenge in 2021 to transform his body after appearing on the show. The reality star looked shredded and toned in his after photos, going shirtless to showcase a six-pack along with newly muscular arms. But don't worry, his body transformation was not a revenge body. He and his match Carrie are still together in 2022 after appearing on the show together. They moved in together and welcomed a new puppy to the fam. Since being on the show, Johnny was accused of dropping former MAFS besties Bryce Ruthven and Jason Engler in an Instagram Q&A. Bryce said Johnny and Carrie had completely wiped them for whatever reason. Johnny's continued to pursue his love of acting, starring in a theater show, Forthcoming, a romantic comedy which ironically is all about finding a soulmate. Bryce Ruthven and Melissa Rawson The couple that get new teeth together stay together. Bryce and Melissa both got veneers to enhance their smiles after their time on the show. The couple wed on the 2021 season of MAFS and announced their engagement in July 2021 at the same time as they confirmed that they were expecting twins. Melissa Rawson showed off her remarkable body transformation after she welcomed their twin sons just five months before. In the before shot, Melissa is pregnant and shows off her baby bump, and in the after, she proudly holds her newborn sons, Levi and Tate, who were born 10 weeks premature. Connie Creighton Connie looks like a completely different person these days. Shy makeup artist turned reality star, Connie came out of her shell after filming MAFS and embraced a new blonde persona. She revealed on social media that she got body contouring done after losing a massive 20 kilos, which is equivalent to 44 pounds. However, she didn't share any images of her weight loss on social media as she was embarrassed. On top of achieving impressive weight loss goals, Connie has been busy furthering her college career after starring on the show. She is a student who's working towards her degree. She hopes to become a marine biologist, when she completes her studies. She currently works as a retail assistant in Melbourne, Australia. She may not have found love on her season with Jonathan, but it seems as though Connie Creighton has found the one. Taking to her Instagram to share pictures with the mystery man, the pics range from what appears to be dates over several months, and despite not tagging him in the pictures, Connie looks absolutely smitten. Sam Ball Known for his beautiful head of dark hair and matching beard, Sam shocked the nation when he shaved it all off in 2020. He debuted the dramatic new look on Instagram and it was later revealed that the reality star joined the army, which was probably the reason for his dramatic trim. Like many other Married at First Sight stars, Sam also went through a major body transformation and lost nearly 25 pounds. Sam gained a reputation as a villain on Married at First Sight after he cheated on his bride Lizzie with fellow contestant Inez, who was also married to Bronson. Sam isn't rumored to be dating anyone currently and seems to have deactivated his Instagram account so much for social snooping. Inez and Bronson And speaking of the devils, Bronson hasn't changed much since the show, just looking a little slimmer around the face. Whereas Inez has had jaw reconstruction, Botox, lip fillers, laser surgery to remove the tattoos on her shoulder, and a nose job totaling almost $30,000. Inez is now a full-time Instagram influencer in Australia, but her Instagram has like nothing on it. So maybe she's deleted some posts or has made them private? She has worked with top beauty brands and has been flown into Los Angeles for product launches. Bronson, on the other hand, has been in a relationship with girlfriend Haley Wallace. The couple have been together for a couple of years. Love Island stars love switching up their look, whether that be through hair, makeup, or cosmetic procedures. Their transformations reveal that reality shows must really change the way you look at yourself. 
Olivia Kaiser. Many fans have noticed Olivia made some serious transformations to her face following her appearance on season 3 of Love Island USA. She was one of those girls who definitely had a more natural look on the show, and now she's sporting more of an insta baddie aesthetic. Olivia did a Q&A on her Instagram stories, and one fan asked her about her changes. It seemed like they did it in a backhanded way, asking, why did you change so much about yourself after you got the 50k? Olivia set the record straight. So, I get this question often. I've been in the beauty industry for eight years. I've always been into cosmetic enhancements. It's always how I've been. The only difference is now I'm bringing a lot of people along to watch me do it. So, if you think that, I'm sorry. Megan Barton Hansen. Megan made every man fall in love with her on the show, and it makes sense why. She's a bombshell. However, she didn't always look the way that she does. She started getting a lot of work done starting at age 14 when she got her ears pinned back, then followed the procedure with nose job, breast implants, lip fillers, and veneers in her late teens. She had all of those enhancements on the show. After Love Island, she decided to have her lip fillers dissolved and have the clips holding her ears back removed. She told The Sun, deciding to leave my ears sticking out feels like a middle finger to all the mean kids at school. Olivia Atwood the 30-year-old surprised her fans by showing throwback photos of what she looked like pre-surgery. There's quite a difference. There's nothing for you to worry about. Without lip fillers or an enhanced chest, she looks like a totally different person. She captioned the snap, God, this pic is old. This is pre-surgery. I had C-size natural and loved a padded bra. Olivia first had chest enhancements when she was 19, but had them reduced in 2019 after saying they were too heavy for her body. Since the show ended, she's gotten veneers which has got to be pretty pricey. Molly Mae Haig Molly Mae ended up capturing the heart of Tommy Fury, but she does look noticeably different now than the day Tommy first met her in the hot tub. After getting backlash on all the work she's had done, Molly Mae decided to start opting for the natural look and got the majority of her filler dissolved. In a video posted on Insta, she said, I had to have numbing cream all over my face. I randomly actually ended up getting filler dissolved in my face this morning. She went on saying, I feel like I'm still definitely going through the process of trying to make everything as natural as I possibly can. She feels that she made many mistakes when she was younger that she's still trying to correct now. On top of that, she's gotten her white composite bonds removed from her teeth, only wears hair extensions on special occasions, and uses less fake tan than she did in her Love Island days. Laura Anderson Laura has always been open to the world about her post-Love Island plastic transformation. On the show, she definitely had thinner lips and a slightly bigger nose. Since then, she had a few subtle tweaks that made all the difference. Yeah, of course I do. Laura had filler in her lips and cheeks to plump them up, and also had a liquid rhinoplasty where filler was cleverly injected into the nose to make it straighter. She received negative comments on Love Island about her age, even though she was only in her late 20s. On the work she's had done, she says, I've had a bit of Botox here and there, but I think that's enough. It's a touchy subject, and I get that, and I would never want to promote that to young girls. But I still want to live my life for me. It's hard, but I'm nearly 30. Liam Reardon Girls aren't the only ones who have physical transformations before and after appearing on the show. Liam Reardon today is known for being tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I appreciate that. But did you know that he used to be blonde? He used to sport a very short peroxide blonde hairdo before entering the villa. He looks totally different with the light hair. We think we like the dark hair a bit better. It suits him. Millie Court. Millie Court has a hair transformation that may prove to be a little awkward. She was known for having a blunt, shoulder-length blonde bob on the show and in 2021 added extensions to give a more glamorous vibe to her look. However, fans claim that it now makes her look like her rival, Lily. Fans were quick to comment. One said, you look like Lily Haynes. Another added, yes, I'm not the only one who thought that too. However, a lot of fans agreed that Millie looks a lot better, so that's something. Sharon Gafka The star has been open about her plastic surgery from the jump. She often shows how different she looked in her younger years before any enhancements. She looks almost unrecognizable when she won Miss International Pageant in 2018. Her doctor also was open about treating her lips on his Instagram. The secret is out, my bestie. Cheers 
cheerleader and client Sharon Gafka is on her way to the Love Island Villa. Will she find love? We love that she doesn't feel any shame about her pre-Love Island look or the fact that she regularly plumps up her lips to achieve that bombshell vibe. Jessica Hayes Jessica was a natural beauty in the villa, but even she underwent a dramatic transformation that made her unrecognizable even to herself. Because of her insecurities due to her round face, she had Botox on her forehead as well as in her cheeks and jaw to give her a more heart-shaped face. At the end of the day, it's something I want to do, so I will do it, said Jess. She does not regret the procedures. Amber Davies Since appearing on Love Island in 2017, Amber has had quite the transformation. I'm just speech- like, I am speechless. I just don't know what to say. First, she swapped out her straight dark hair for a honey blonde shade. She also revealed she's had her ears pinned back. She explained to Lorraine Kelly, I got my ears pinned back. It's been an insecurity of mine since I can remember. She's so much happier now that she doesn't have to deal with that insecurity. Her lips look a little fuller too. Alexandra Kane, we loved it when she scolded Alex George for wasting her short-lived time on Love Island. I think you're pathetic. I think you're absolutely pathetic. Now, the brunette beauty has a totally different look. She used to have more of an average body type and transformed herself to be totally fit. She went through a huge lifestyle change, lost almost 30 pounds, and became a fitness guru. Later, she admitted to taking things too far with the weight loss and is focused now on being healthy and doing things she enjoys. Hannah Elizabeth Love Island's first series runner-up, Hannah Elizabeth, drastically changed her look with a hair makeover. Her signature blonde hair was swapped for a striking black color. She captioned a short video on Instagram debuting her new look with, It's the biggest hair transformation of my life. Fans loved it, saying that it was gorgeous and that it reminded them of when Katie Price went black. Cara De La Hoyd Going from single girl to married with a child is quite the transformation in itself, so it's no surprise that Cara's look has changed ever ever since she first appeared on the show. Her pregnancy caused her to gain a lot more weight than we saw on her when she was on Love Island. She felt bloated by pregnancy, so she got a non-surgical lift, which transformed her jawline and gave her a more sculpted appearance. Katie McDermott Katie McDermott's look has changed a lot in the past few years. On the show, she looked very fresh-faced and the girl-next-door type. Now, her face is noticeably more angular and her lips look fuller. However, Katie denies getting any drastic plastic surgery done. Instead, she attributes it to her getting older. I was on Love Island five years ago. I just turned 20, so I was legit a child. I'm 25 now. Of course my face is going to change. She posted with a screenshot of an article that triggered the cruel comments. Wes Nelson and Wes has been looking good since his Love Island days. So good, in fact, that people are wondering if he's gotten any extra help. He denies getting any surgical procedures. But why does his face look so different? Botox, as it turns out. When Wes was still dating Megan, a regular Botox user, a source confirmed to The Sun that he started getting Botox as well. But Wes has firmly denied getting lip fillers after some followers commented on a selfie he took, suggesting he was poutier than before. The only photo I've uploaded since the villa not smiling with my teeth and I'm accused of getting lip fillers. You guys are mad, he wrote, alongside laughing emojis. Another reason he looks so great? He's also lost 10 kilograms ever since training for Dancing on Ice in 2019. So what do you think? Which transformation was the most shocking? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe to The Things Reality to stay up to date on all of the latest and greatest in reality TV news.